Hello, how's it going everybody? So, I'm in Toronto. If you're watching this today, this is live. S sort of live. Because you know that I've been traveling all over the Midwest and back in Toronto now, but uploading videos from there and I'm headed to California in a week. But, I promised some videos from Toronto and this is one of them. And where I am right now is I'm in Oakville, which is about 40 minutes, uh, West? Yeah, west of Toronto. Southwest, kind of around the lake, Lake Ontario. And I'm here at a Ukrainian cemetery to show you the grave of somebody that you wouldn't expect to be buried here. Because he's an American, internationally famous, but he's buried here in Oakville, Ontario. And he's buried with his fiancee. And normally I don't, I don't try to insert anything about myself into these videos when I do about famous graves. I did with Corey Haim because of my connection to Corey Haim. But this one I do have a connection with as well because I knew his fiance. I knew Gregory Hines' fiance quite well. I'm gonna to explain to you how. But right here in front of me is Gregory Hines' grave with his fiance, Negrita. Let's take a look. And here's Mr. Gregory Hines. Right here. So I'll sing in the festive dance, within you is my true home. And there's Gregory, and there's Negrita, my friend. So, Gregory Hines, I would assume most people know him. Famous, famous tap dancer. He invented his own style of tap dancing. Sammy Davis Jr. on his deathbed literally went like this with a basketball, like a fake basketball does this to, to, to pass it to Gregory Hines. And Gregory Hines took that as meaning like he's he's a takeover, being the greatest tap dancer in the world, and he really was. He won a Tony, I believe he won an Emmy. He became a movie star. I know him from Running Scared with Billy Crystal. That's where I discovered him. I can't remember when that movie came out. I think early '90s or maybe late '80s. Watching watched it on video. And I thought it was a great movie. So that's how I figure out who Gregory Hines was. And then, of course, for a certain generation. Will and Grace. He was Grace's boyfriend on Will and Grace. But he's more known, so that's how I knew him too. I lot from that. Um, I'm not a huge Broadway aficionado, but I know enough about it, and I know that Gregory Hines is huge in that world and revered. As well, he should be. So as for Negrita, uh, Gregory Hines' fiance, she was a female bodybuilder. She placed third in North America in 1989, somewhere around there for women's bodybuilding, but she won the Canadian Women's Bodybuilding Championship in 1986. <laughs> I knew Negrita for about three or four years before she passed away. How I came to know her was the people that I used to work for, that I worked for, uh, still do. Well, they were best friends with her, with Negrita, for a long time. So I got to know Negrita. She would come into the place that we worked all the time, and I got to know her. And it's hard to put into words sometimes how how sweet someone can be and how special someone can be. And when you, everybody knows somebody that has a light that just shines with, within them, that lifts you up 
Do you know what I mean? Negrita had that. She, I, she was so sweet. Such a special woman and so sweet to me. And I loved her. Uh, here's some pictures of her with the people that I know. So yeah, I see those pictures of Gregory Hines, John Belushi, and Negrita all the time. I see them a lot when I'm in Toronto. And uh, reminds me of Negrita and how sweet she was. And I know how much her family and her friends, I mean, people knew her a lot better than I did, a lot better. And I can just imagine how much they miss her. And I wish I got the chance to meet Gregory Hines and John Belushi. That would have been John, uh, Jim Belushi. John Belushi. I knew Negrita somewhat well, and I saw her about four days before she passed away. And she was very frail very tiny, uh, but the light still shone bright. You know what I mean? The light was still coming out of her, even as the life was leaving her. I remember that last night I spent with her, just talking, sitting down in the back corner of the place that I was working, and we just talked for a few hours. And she was wrapped up in a shawl, really tiny. And she used to be so, you know, she was a bodybuilder and she's just, she was but so sweet. I can't stress how lovely this woman was. I, I can understand completely how Gregory Hines fell in love with her because she was an amazing woman. I, uh, she was an author. She wrote books uh, about bodybuilding. She was an inspirational speaker. <clears throat> and I believe she was Gregory Hines' trainer. That's how they met. Because he needed a trainer to keep him fit. And no one better than Negrita to do that. Gregory Hines died of liver cancer in 2003. And then she outlived him by another six years and she died of cancer as well. And they're both reunited here together. And actually, I remember the phone call I got uh, when she passed away and I had to break it to her best friend. Uh, I had to be the one that would to tell her this is the phone call and hand her the phone. And it was, wasn't good. It was sad. It was sad for everyone when Negrita passed away. I wish I had got the chance to meet Gregory Hines. He was in Toronto a lot, but that was before I worked for them. And uh, yeah, but he was here in Toronto a lot with her. But they did live in California, I believe. I think they lived in Santa Monica. Anyways, so this video is about Gregory Hines and Negrita. But I just want to throw that little story in about my connection to Negrita and what she meant to me, because she was so sweet. And like I said, if I can just reiterate the light the light that shines from within her let's take another look So I hope I'm getting the name right. It's St. Vlad Vla Vla Vladimir Ukrainian Cemetery in Oakville. And as you can see, I mean, it, it stretches down far that way, but there's no graves. It's just right around here. And there's a lot of monuments. There's not too many that are placed in the ground, just like the headstones in the ground. This is a lot of monuments. And if you're looking for Gregory Hines, just drive all the way to the back, make a left. And you find him and Negrita. It's a cold, gray day here in Toronto. I call this Toronto, even though it's 
a different city, but it's a suburb of Toronto. Oakville is, like I said, 40 minutes away. Toronto stretches so far now. Third, fourth largest, biggest city in North America. People don't realize that about Toronto. But yeah. All right, this was short and sweet and just my little tribute to Gregory Hines and Negrita. Buried here in Oakville, Ontario. I think I said enough about, not enough, you could never say enough about anybody really, but in Gregory Hines, what a career, what a talent. He was a musician as well. Musician, actor, famous dancer, Negrita, bodybuilder, writer, speaker. I can see why they, Gregory Hines, from watching him just on Will and Grace, you can see just how amazing uh, a talent he was. And then seeing old clips, I was watching old clips of him dancing on YouTube and stuff. And his, and interviews I was watching, he was such an amazing guy. I could see why they were together. Both amazing people. Really. There's a lot of people that probably miss Negrita quite, quite a lot. I mean, I didn't know her. I knew her, but I didn't know her that well. I knew her, well, enough to hug and kiss on the cheek. And like I said, four or five days before she passed away, got to sit and talk with her for a long time. But I know her family and friends must miss her so much. Cause that special type of person doesn't come along that often. And I wish I got a chance to meet Gregory Hines when he was in Toronto, cause he was here a lot. And I meet Jim Belushi too. Maybe one day I'll get to meet Jim Belushi. Cause I know he was good friends with Gregory Hines. That'd be interesting. There it is behind me. Gregory Hines, Negrita Jade. All right, that's it for this short little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace to Gregory Hines and peace to Negrita, my girl. And peace to you.